Linda, congratulations. Brilliant performance out there. Coming back from a set down, what changed for you after that first set? Well, it was important uh, for me to forget the first set, to not keep it in mind. And uh, I think I got used to her uh, pace and because she's playing really fast. And um, yeah, I was trying to find a way how to beat her. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I found it. <laughs> you certainly did. And you were able to finish serving so well. Uh, last year here in Charleston, you got your first main draw WTA win. You made your first quarterfinal at this level. What do you remember from that? Uh, I remember a lot, <laughs> all of the moments when I, the, the, the matches, it was incredible, you know, it's, uh, it's always going to be a special place for me here. Obviously, I got my first WTA win here, first quarterfinal. I played some great matches and uh, the atmosphere at this tournament is, is so nice and uh, yeah, I'm really glad to be back. Well, what's it like playing inside that new stadium? Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, I. I got to practice once on it before I played the match like two days ago and uh, yeah I mean it's, it's beautiful and I'm honored that I got to play the first match there. And, and, and you'll be the answer to the trivia question who who won the first match in there it's Linda Fruvertova. Uh, you're coming off such an awesome run in Miami. You got your first two top 25 wins. What, what was that experience like for you. Uh, yeah I mean uh, it was incredible. It was an unforgettable week for me and uh, you know, it, it's uh, very mod motivating to uh, win these matches and, uh, you know, to keep working hard and uh, keep believing in yourself. And, uh, yeah, I think it was an incredible experience for me in Miami. And uh, when, when the matches against the kind of players that I did, it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing, you know, to play against the players you grew up watching on TV. And, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, I'm just really happy that I can see all the hard work paying off. It, it certainly is. I mean, in December, you're winning the Eddie Herr, you know, big junior event, and, and now you're here beating the top 100 players in the world. What's been the biggest difference uh, from the junior level to where you're at right now? Well, I think at the end of the year where we played a couple of amazing tournaments with my sister yeah. and juniors, uh, it was uh, important for me too because uh, I felt like I was... Uh, I was playing great tennis. I was more confident, and uh, yeah, I think I transferred it to uh, this year, uh, women's matches, and uh, it was really important for me to get uh, get these kind of matches, you know, against uh, top players in WTA, because uh, uh, you know it's 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 different than in juniors when you. You know, when you give them a chance, they take it and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really important to get as many matches as possible, which is hard with the age eligibility rule for me. But, uh, yeah, I'm so just so glad to get the opportunities. You're doing it by winning. 16 years old. What do you do for school? Uh, I'm doing high school, second year of high school. I study uh, economics. Okay. Uh, yeah, I... I haven't really had the time lately, but uh, I sure will. <laughs> <laughs> Economics, uh, you'll, you'll have a lot more money to count after all these wins that you're racking up. Congratulations, first win inside this new Credit One Stadium. We wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you.